In today's video, a car that has lived the rock and roll lifestyle from the highs to the lows. It's the king of rock chipped paint. It's Donkey. G'day everyone, my name is Daniel O'Grady, hope you are doing well, and today I've got a car called Donkey. It's located in southeast Queensland, but it's been all over. It's a green monster called Donkey. Um, Shrek reference? No, I shoehorned that in, apologies for that. And it was an absolute miracle that I got to see this car. I was returning from a day of Lakeside, Lakeside Racetrack, Southeast Queensland. Off I was to Bunnings for a sausage sizzle, which is just freaking amazing. And I saw an RA40 Celica, there it is, there's a picture of it. Massive thank you to Daniel. He pointed me in the direction of a car show happening at Petrie Old Town, or Old Petrie Town, wherever it's called. And off I went. Yeah, and it turned out to be a great little event. Lots of variety. There were sort of stock standard cars, modified cars, street machines, hot rods. And the first car to really distract me was this HQ SS. And I've talked about my love for these cars previously, so I won't go into it. But I made my way more towards the back of the event, and then I saw it. Donkey. Yep, and as you can see, it's stock as a rock. Damn, I was really getting into that guitar work too. Okay, but now let's test your powers of observation. You will have noticed the boot lid mounted suitcase rack. Interesting addition, super stylish. Also super stylish with the Venetian blinds in the rear window. But did you notice the gas cylinder where the rear seat used to be? I'm hoping that's for a barbecue and nothing Nux Fury Road related. Next, did you notice the screwdriver at the B pillar? Check that out. Obviously serving a purpose, but I don't know what. And next, did you see the turbo under the bonnet? Yes, turbo! There, it's a battery. Yeah. Yeah, look, I'm having a bit of fun at this car, but you know I love it, and I'm not the only one. It was featured in this calendar. This fantastic work of art. Also in magazines. And there is, in fact, quite a few very nice Isuzus right there. Speaking of nice Isuzus, my absolute favourite is this Isuzu Statesman Deville down in Kagoshima. And great to see it on the track too! Well, like they say, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. If you haven't subbed already, do so. And if you are new, do check out the website. There are 800 plus videos of classic cars in Japan. Well, and a few from Australia. And for those who support Wasabi Cars via Patreon, do not forget to leave a comment on the latest post for you to be in the running for the latest giveaway, those magazines. And of course, thank you all very much for your support. And all that is left is the question of the day, and I've got a doozy. Actually, it's a really ordinary question. But what did you buy for yourself? Now, you know what I recently bought? A bloody battery bank for my iPhone. It's the simplest thing, but I finally got one. Can you believe that? 2018, September, finally got one. Crazy. What did you buy yourself? And if you are watching on a mobile, swipe. Swipe, swipe, swipe all the way down the bottom and leave a comment. I would appreciate it greatly. Everyone, thank you so much. Love yous all. See ya.